Welcome to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1, Week 3. This is brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll be covering note values and rest, music signs and terms, lengthening of notes, musical signs, terms and signs. Let's begin our Week 3. Lengthening of notes. Notes can be extended for a longer duration by using ties. We can extend notes for a longer duration by using ties. You can only tie notes that are on the same pitch. So ties, they work on the notes that are on the same pitch. You can only tie notes that are on the same pitch. Rests cannot be tied. Remember this, we cannot tie rests together. A tie indicates the second note must not be played again. This means holding the first note for the duration of the tied notes. So a tie indicates that the second note must not be played again. The second note must not be played again. This means holding the first note. Hold the first note for the duration of the tied notes. Any number of notes may be tied. A tie symbol is like a curving line stretching from one note to the other. Let's take a look at our examples. We said ties, or you can only tie notes of the same pitch. You can only tie, tie a D to a D. There's a tie symbol, stretching curving line from one note head going to the other. This means you're going to play and hold this first note for the duration of this note. So you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. This will give you 8. You're going to hold the first note for the duration of 8 beats. That's how a tie functions. Dotted notes and rests. A note can be lengthened by adding a dot next to it. So we can also lengthen notes or extend notes by adding dots. A dot increases a note by half of its value. So a dot is different from a tie. A dot increases a note by half of its value. By half of its value. We call this dotted notes. Not notes with dots are called dotted notes. We can only use dots for rest or, or we can also use dots for rest. Remember we said we can uh, tie rest but here we can extend rest by using dots. Dots on rest. Write the rest or you can write the rest out in full. Dots are placed right next to the notes and if a note is on the line, the dot will be placed in the space above the note. So dots are placed right next to the notes. Right next to the notes. A dotted whole rest. This is a dotted whole rest. Then a dotted note. Remember, this is a semi-brief and it's worth four counts. Adding half of its value would be adding two. So two plus four gives us the value of six. Same goes for a dotted half note. Dotted half note rest, the value three. Dotted crochet, dotted crochet rest, value a dotted uh, eighth note dotted eighth not rest and this is the value when you've added you're gonna add what what is a half of a half it's a quarter so quarter plus half it's gonna give you three four then this is a dotted sixteenth note which is a semi quiver dotted sixteenth note rest it's gonna give you a three eight signs take a look at what a slur is. A slur marks a group of notes as a phrase that must be played legato. It marks a group of notes as a phrase that must be played legato, which means smoothly. It is placed on the side of the note heads. This is how a slur looks like. It's similar to a tie, but it functions differently. This is an example of a slur. 
it indicates a musical phrase that must be played legato which means smoothly and a tie remember it connects the duration of the same pitch notes don't confuse a slur to a tie staccato it it is a dynamic a dot sign on top of the note head on top of the note head this is a staccato it's different from a dot remember a dot extends a note by half of its value but a staccato is a dynamic that indicates that the note should be played shorter shorter play the note shorter respecting not altering its time value staccato this is a slur and a tie moving along to terms and signs music is mostly communicated in different terms and signs in order the player to understand how or what it's supposed to be played and we use languages like german and italian mostly to communicate these terms and signs different types of musical terms we've got tempo how fast or slow should we play and we have dynamic then we have articulation Remember, dynamic has to do with how soft or how loud we are supposed to play. And articulation is smoothly or should we play staccato. Let's take a look at the tempo. We have allegro, meaning fast. Alle allegro means fast. Allegretto, fairly quick. Allegretto, fairly quick, but not as quick as allegro. This is allegro, fast. This is fairly quick, but not as quick as allegro. Then we have lago. Lago, meaning very fast. Andante. Andante, meaning moderately slow. At a medium walking pace. Then we have moderato, abbreviated as mod. Moderately or moderate speed. Allegro moderato, meaning moderately quick tempo, followed by retardando, abbreviated as read or retard, meaning gradually getting slower.